In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Feather Client for Minecraft. The first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser. Then all you want to do is you want to go ahead and look up Feather Client download just like so and make sure you go to the official feathermc.com website. From here, please go ahead and select on this option that says download for. Then wait for it to install and you may need to go ahead and actually give your device permission to install it. So please go ahead and do it. Make sure to go ahead and select on download on verified file and then there you go. All right. So once I went ahead and finished installing, all you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up the file. Now, depending on your web browser, you may be able to see the feather launcher setup.exe file on the top right like me. But if you don't see it, what you could always do is open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. All you want to do is you want to select on the feather client launcher. Go ahead and press on yes. I apologize that my screen was black. But while that's downloading, let me tell you guys about Symbol Game Hosting. Symbol Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft servers where they make it incredibly easy for you to have your own private 24 7 unlimited slot server that you can play with you and all of your friends. What's great about Symbol Game Hosting is that they make everything beginner friendly as they have dozens of video tutorials showing you how to do everything along with 24 7 live customer support. You can also spice things up in your server by making it crossplay, Java only, Bedrock only adding mods plugins and mod packs with the click of a single button and at the moment they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a minecraft server gets 25 percent off their very first month of server hosting so guys if you ever thought about making a minecraft server now is the perfect time and if that's something you're interested in feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comments all right guys that's enough yapping out of me so once you went ahead and installed the feather client it is going to take you to a screen that looks like this now the next thing we need to do is we need to log in to our microsoft account so go ahead and select over here where it says not signed in. Then go ahead and press on plus Microsoft account right over here. And now it is going to go ahead and make a sign in. So I'm going to sign in with my Microsoft account really quickly. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. So once you sign in, your username is going to appear right over here. And then from here, you can make more adjustments. For example, you guys can install mods. If you want to, you could also add your own skin. There's also some servers that you guys can go ahead and take a look at. And you guys could even use the feather client, discord, Twitter, YouTube, etc., which is honestly pretty cool. But basically what you would need to do is you would need to go ahead and select on your Minecraft version. Then you would need to go ahead and press on launch just like so. And now it is going to go ahead and begin to install everything. Everything. So all I got to do is you got to wait for it to load in. All right. And then there you go. Feather client is now loaded in. So from here, you guys can play single player. You guys can play multiplayer, all that good stuff. But if you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.